whether for reasons of war, science, weapons, or national security. The military and military scientists have carried out interesting projects that have not always gone well. This time, I will tell you about some of them. Before starting the video, I invite you to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. Without further ado, let's start with the video. German Miniature Tank The Schutzenpanzer Lang HS-30, also Schutzenpanzer 12-3, was a West German tracked infantry fighting vehicle developed between 1956 and 1958. It was a Swiss-Hispanic Swiss design with a Rolls-Royce engine. Due to some mechanical problems, only 2,176 of the expected 10,680 were made. It was armed with a 20mm cannon, an unusually powerful weapon for a troop carrier of the time. German Defense Minister Franz Josef Strauss ordered several thousand, having seen only one wooden model. But the vehicles turned out to be too narrow and their chains too weak. Also, the cooling system was inadequate. Characterized by flaws and technical problems, its realization was followed by a major political scandal in West Germany in the 1960s. Freezing Experiments In 1941, Mengele conducted experiments to learn how to treat hypothermia. The SS doctor Sigmund Rauscher experimented on around 300 people in 1942 in the Dachau concentration camp. The purpose was to study the physical effects of people in a state of hypothermia. And in addition, the experiments calculated different ways to reheat the survivors. One study forced subjects to resist in a tank of ice water for up to three hours. In another case, prisoners were placed naked outside in sub-zero temperatures for several hours. According to Rasher, it was driven by the increase in cases of pilots becoming hypothermic after ending up in the water after their plane was shot down. The freezing experiments were divided into two. The first was to establish how long it would take to lower body temperature until death, while the second focused on how to best resuscitate the frozen victim. The ice bath proved to be the fastest way to bring down the body temperature. It was learned that most of them lost consciousness and died when their body temperature fell to 25 degrees Celsius. And today, the results of said experimentation have neither validity nor any value, not only because of the atrocity of the fact, but also because of its uselessness. Excalibur Project Project Excalibur was a Cold War research program of the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, LLNL, to develop an X-ray Laser Ballistic Missile Defense BMD, system for the United States. The concept involved placing a large number of X-ray lasers around a nuclear device. When the device exploded, the X-rays emitted by the bomb had to be focused by the lasers to target each of the target missiles. Exploding in space without an atmosphere to block X-rays, the strike distance extends to thousands of kilometers. The project officially continued until 1992 when the project was determined to be out of scope for current technology, and its last scheduled test was formally cancelled. Decompression Chamber Again, at the beginning of 1942, the prisoners of Dachau concentration camp were used by Dr. Rasher in experiments with a decompression chamber, with which he simulated heights of up to 20 kilometers, whose objective would be to help the German pilots who had to eject at high altitudes. A low-pressure chamber was used in which the inmates were locked up. It is rumored that Rasher performed human vivisections on the brains of the surviving victims. 28 of the 200 subjects, 80 died during the experiment, and the rest were executed. The Mengele Twins Josef Mengele conducted experiments on more than 1,500 pairs of imprisoned twins, of which only about 200 survived. The human body can be manipulated in unnatural ways. The sadistic angel of death, as he was nicknamed, did atrocious tests from injecting strange viruses into young twins, children, and even babies, injecting chemicals into the eyes to see if they could change colors, to sewing twins together to try to create conjoined twins. Anti-tank dogs Anti-tank dogs were dogs trained to carry explosives and destroy tanks, armored vehicles, and other military targets. They were intensively trained by the Soviet and Russian armed forces between 1930 and 1996, being used in combat during World War II against German tanks between 1941 and 1942. Their method of training consisted of subjecting the dogs to starvation for a long period of time. Then dishes with food could be left under the tanks in such a way that the canines were left with the idea that only under the tanks could there be food. In this way, they were released in battle to be placed under the enemy tanks, and when they were in the least armored part of these, 
they exploded and the dogs died there. The anti-tank dogs managed to blow up some 300 enemy tanks. For its part, the German front did not take long to seek a response to this attack, using, for example, flamethrowers to scare away the dogs. In addition to this mishap, the canines did not turn out well as they wanted since most of them became disoriented in combat, frightened by the noises, and finally, it was found that some returned with the Allied troops, putting the platoon at risk. After 1942, the Red Army's use of the anti-tank dogs declined rapidly, and dog training schools concentrated on training mine-sniffing and supply-carrying dogs. However, the training of war dogs for this type of mission continued at least until June of 1996. The Starfighter In 1958, Strauss equipped the German Air Force with F-104 Starfighters. The elegant appearance of the F-104 hit a multitude of flaws. For example, its wings were so small that they could not contain neither the landing gear nor the fuel, which had to be stored in the fuselage. However, the small wings were necessary to give the Starfighter its excellent acceleration, rate of climb, and top speed. In contrast, the small wings gave the F-104 poor sustained turning performance, and since it could not carry fuel, the aircraft had very limited range, among other flaws, causing 15 to 20 fatal crashes each year between 1968 and 1972, and continued at a rate of approximately 10 crashes per year until replaced, leaving a count of 916 planes, 269 crashed. Until 1984, a total of 116 pilots of these starfighters died, which came to be known as Widowmakers. Bomb Detecting Elephants In 2015, with the approval of South African authorities and the support of the United States Army Research Office, they have trained a group of elephants in the so-called art of biodetection, with the intention of demonstrating whether these animals can use their exceptional sense of smell to detect explosives, landmines, and even alert to the presence of poachers. Based on the fact that their sense of smell is superior to that of dogs, and the data that pointed out that their ancestor, the mammoth, could sniff out frozen food and ice, they decided to implement these tests. But they clearly went wrong, since the elephants are too large to be able to flee without detonating bombs, in defense of the dogs that are smaller and more agile. On the other hand, elephants are an endangered species and protected by law. Submarine 201 this submarine project that could not be in the sea. The first post-war German submarines, Type 201, were supposedly the most modern of their class. They were constructed of non-magnetic steel to counter the threat of magnetic mines, but the material had not been fully tested yet and was quite problematic while in service. Shortly after entering service, cracks were detected in its outer walls. The steel was not resistant to seawater. The problem was overcome with the next generation of submarines, the Type 205, filled with normal steel. Fortunately, these could be submerged without running the risk of dissolving. The Emu War The Emu War was a failed military operation in a desperate quest to control the overpopulation of the Emu that took place in Western Australia in late 1932. Incredible as it may sound, the Australian Army lost to the birds in the first encounter. The first event occurred on November 2, 1932, as the birds were out of gun range. The local settlers tried to lure the emus into an ambush, but the birds broke into small groups and ran so that it was impossible to hit them. However, since the first bursts from the machine guns were ineffective due to the distance, a second series of shots was able to kill a small number of birds. Later the same day, a small flock was found and about a dozen birds were shot. The next significant event was on November 4 of the same year. They had set up an ambush near a local dam, and more than 1,000 emus were seen heading towards their position. This time, the gunners waited until the birds were very close before opening fire. However, the machine gun jammed after 12 birds had been hit, and the rest scattered before the men managed to inflict more casualties. No more birds were sighted that day. This event took place from November 4th to 10th. The media quickly titled this event as Emu War. We've reached the end of the video. In this list of curious cases of military projects, we could see some interesting and others pitifully horrible military projects and experiments that have gone wrong. What do you think of them? Did you know about any? If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel to see more similar videos and hit the notification bell so YouTube will notify you when we upload a new video. We upload videos every week. Don't miss it. You will not regret it.